We practice. One, boom. Make the grip. What am I gripping? Right? Right on the musculature, you see? The palm, this grip is here, the gripping fingers, you see? And this hand is gripping here. So that makes a tight grip, and my thumbs are crossed. So it looks like this on the bottom, and it looks here. And what's my index doing? Nothing. I don't need to stiffen it, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't need to grab. It's just going to make it work. It just relaxed. So I practice one, and I practice the other one. The problem is going to come. They're going to start grabbing it now. And they're going to start turning it around. And when it comes, the hand is turned. Pull, pull out. Pull out of that. Pull. The, everything of your joint locks is about grip. And depending on what grip you have, it's going to determine what joint lock you do. When I grab, I'm not grabbing the hand, right? I need to grab, and I already mentioned that. It's right here. So where is the webbing? Right here, you see? It's right there at the, the neck of the hand, which is your wrist. So I don't grab the forearm. I don't grab the hand. I'm right. I'm choking. Like I'm choking the neck. I'm choking the neck of the hand. When he pushes, he pushes any hand, and it doesn't matter. If we can get this grip, okay, fight should be over. All right? Fight should be over. Think about what I'm saying here. So when I get this grip, see, I just keep here. He can kick me, he can whatever. I can see, continue, I can kick. And as soon as I want, I can just spin one way or spin the other, and the technique's done. And there is no way he can escape this grip. So he's going to try to punch me or do whatever, right? And that's what I got to keep away. When I see him punching, what do I do? That's when 45. And look how I go in, right? How do I go in? So I cover the center where there's a punch. My hands are coming up. One. This is, geez, it's like a, I'm doing a cross block. So, it, see, it's not good to do this. I'm protecting my center line. So I go here, my left hand continues, my right hand stays, and if there's any strike, whatever, it's all, you're all covered here, you see? So I'm covered and I give it, I pass it. It's hard to catch the hand, but it's not hard to catch the arm. I don't know what he's doing, but if I'm gonna close the distance, see, I'm gonna go into it. Whatever he attacks doesn't matter. See, I'm gonna go into it like that. Whether he attacks or I'm gonna move in, boom, in control, right? And I can strike, I can control the head, I'm catching bow, whatever, and then now, oh, I got something. Now I go into here, now I go into here. And so once you have that understanding, then you're not, you're not as fearful. You're fearful to attack into the center line like this. The question is now, what are you going to do from there? And that's the question. Whether he throws the punch, that's the hook. See, that's the easiest way. Right? If he throws across, same. Well, if he goes on this side, then I'm going to take it here. But if he goes here, one cross, I got it here. Then I go to inside. But I got to watch here. Boom. Then I go into one. Boom. And then from there, I grab whatever it is. His arm, his hair, his head. Then my next movement is boom. Then I assess. Right? And this is the idea. The art of war. What is the idea? Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. Because who do you need to have control over? Your enemies, not your friends. The same idea. But what is our nature? Keep our friends close, our enemies far away. What is also then interpreted in the in the interpersonal way? Hmm? You only do things you like and you never do things you don't or you're not good at. You only do the things you're good at, you never do the things you're not good at. 
The only thing difference in any of the joint lock is vibration or constant pressure. Whether, whether I do an arm bar, same, if I do an arm bar, whether I put constant pressure or I vibrate. Whether I do a C-lock, I put constant pressure or I vibrate, right? <laughs> so you don't need foam hard, you need close and you need to understand how to vibrate, okay? And that requires speed and the, the, this, this retraction. If I'm too far, can I move in? Yes, if maybe I'm too far, then I gotta move in. Maybe I'm too close, then I gotta open up. And there's nothing that he's gonna do. Now, he's doing this because I'm pulling like that. I let it go, but I drive it into him. When we do the knock up, I want to pull him so he can do the knock up and roll. But when I do the technique, it looks like this. See? He, he can't, there's nowhere to go. He just got to go down because it hurts. This is doing it static. But if I do it in this fluid movement, see, did I get the lock on your wrist? See, I didn't get the lock on the wrist, but he still went. And the way we're teaching to, to do the roll is then they're always rolling on this shoulder, but you're using this end, which should be going this way. They're not using it to roll on it. They're using it like a shock absorber to put it down. So what do they need to do? Don't put this hand like this to make sure they put it flat here and then bring this shoulder, roll on this shoulder. And so he lets himself down with this arm to the shoulder and rolls and slaps down with this arm. There go. Just like that. But here I can go this way and I can also kick out his rear leg as I pull down. And that doesn't require me to have a 90 degree on the wrist. See, I just have it here, just control. Another way I can do this is when I go in I can do this here as an arm bar. Me moving, me moving. So now I control it by this hand, how much pressure I lift. When I put my foot flat, holding this flat, I sit, see? That's a lot of pain there, right? Hello, sir. Now, some people argue, you can kick me. What if they kick you? Kick me. Kick you? Kick me. Grab me, kick me, do whatever. See, I'm putting pressure. See, if I put pressure, if I'm not doing anything, nothing's happening, sure, you might think he's gonna do something. But when I put pressure, there's nothing he's gonna do. Why, and why is he lifting his butt up? To release the pressure on the elbow. Everything is this way. And Simone brings this up all the time. Every time I watch you, I'm learning it all over again. I thought I knew, but I don't know. Absolutely. That is, see, that's not a problem of Harangdo. That is the beauty of Harangdo. That is also the truth of life. What you do, what you teach them will make them great. Okay. Very good.